Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I want to talk to you about uh, growing old and owning coins. This is a topic that I run into quite a bit, and I'll say that as someone who owns a small business, a coin shop, where we buy from the general public, uh, generally speaking, there's not really a problem, but occasionally we've run into items that we end up buying from someone who seems like they're completely on the up and up, but the item seems to be stolen. And uh, more times than not, this ends up being someone who works at a nursing home or some type of a care facility or caretaker situation. And sometimes it's not someone who actually works somewhere. Sometimes it's just someone that has latched on to dear mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. And so what I want to talk to you today about is really thinking through the process of when and how to liquidate your coins currency, gold and silver items based on your stage of life. So this is going to apply to some of you because maybe you're at an age in life where you're thinking about making transitional changes, moving, going into assisted living, or maybe you feel like even though you're a decade away, you should set up the dominoes now so that you know how to handle things. And there's a couple of different ways to handle things. So uh, maybe this applies to you because you happen to just be in midlife, but mom or dad are really having a hard time and struggling staying home alone, and they're going to have to go into some type of a facility. And so this may also apply to you in that way. So if it is you and you're thinking about what am I going to do, there are things that you need to know about when it go, comes to uh, assisted living, nursing homes, or having come having people come into your house. And that is to say that 98% of people can be trusted completely. So generally speaking, I don't want you to be paranoid about this, but I will say that if most people left their doors unlocked during the day, probably they're not going to get their house broken into. But at the same time, we all still lock our doors, right? So there's just a little bit of a common sense element to this that is not paranoia. It's just a matter of, okay, if I'm going to be going somewhere, what do I do with physical assets that I have? What do we do with grandma and grandpa's physical assets? Well, one, you can, of course, look to liquidate them yourselves now. This is something that is pretty practical, especially if you're the one with the knowledge. I always encourage people, if you have the knowledge of the, and ownership of the items that you have, get rid of them yourself because your wife, your children, whoever it is, nieces and nephews, they don't know how to handle the stuff that you own. The stuff that you've been so passionate about collecting and owning over time, your family doesn't know. They don't know how to handle it. So it's best if you handle it yourself. Now, if it is uh, something that you have to handle for your loved one, try to do it as best as you can in conjunction with them. You know, if they can be there with you, if they still understand things enough to help you through the process, you know, we have that happen all the time where You'll have someone in their 50s or 60s come in with someone in their 80s or 90s, and it's a kind of a co-op teamwork uh, to get to get the job done, right? So you can liquidate ahead of time, or if you have a family that you, family member that you trust, someone that you love and trust that can actually physically hold on to things for you, this can be a good option. I will say. This can cause problems if there is distrust in the family by other family members. So if you have multiple children and you have one that you know you can trust and you give them the items to hold on to, but the other kids are uh, always worried and paranoid. They think that you know you're, that's your favorite kid and it's going to cause family problems. It's probably not worth causing the family problems. I would say it's, it's still good. It's still good to liquidate things in that situation just because you don't want those rifts to be even further along after you after you uh, pass on. Die. Can I just say after you die? Is that do we need to use euphemisms around here? We're adults, right? So uh, the other thing is, if you're going to go into a nursing home, you can liquidate or you can give it to someone that you trust. If you are going to keep it with you, I would be very careful about possibly disguising things and putting them into containers that don't look like a normal container. You know, put some things in some oatmeal boxes in the pantry, that type of thing. Just make sure it's someplace that's a little bit unexpected, a little bit unusual. Hiding things makes some sense, but I will say also, don't hide them and not tell your family members that you trust. You let them know, hey, you know, you're going to want to check the oatmeal box before, uh, before they clean the house, right? The food bank gets this and someone's going to have a very, very good day. So 
I will say that if you're watching this and this is you and you're considering some stuff down the road, uh, there's a couple caveats to this whole thing and I've seen this before. Uh, the mental health that you're in currently uh, or your loved one is currently, they may already be gone too far to not be paranoid. So I have had people who will swear to you that uh, they owned the Maltese, uh, the Maltese Falcon and then uh, that somebody stole it. You know, and they hate that person who stole the Maltese Falcon from them. Or the Millennium Falcon. Hey, it was a fair card game, right? It was a fair card game. So, but but really, really, uh, trust me on this one. I've seen this a lot of times where a family member uh, doesn't trust the stuff that you're telling them. Uh, they won't they won't understand because they've already started to get confused. And if it's you, if you're someone who is a little bit older and you find yourself getting kind of grumpy or cranky with family and friends and you don't seem to understand some of the conversations you're having or the things they're telling you, really, if you can liquidate stuff now before anything gets worse, it's good. I, this is one of my big fears in life is just the whole mental capacity thing of getting old, having some assets, you have your collectibles, what are you gonna do with them? But if you lose your mind, it's a rough it's a rough slog. It's a rough slog for your family. I don't want that for my family. So if you feel like you're losing your edge, so to speak, liquidate the stuff, in my opinion, before you go any further down the road to decline mentally. You want to make sure that you have your uh, capabilities about you to be able to come out and do something in a proper manner and fashion. Um, the other thing to do ahead of time is if you're not going to liquidate now, if you're going to go ahead and give it to a family member, Please, please, please have, if you have been active for decades and you have a dealer that you trust, make sure that they are connected to the family member, right? You want to make sure that you introduce that family member to the person that you say, look, um, take this stuff to my guy down here at the coin shop who I trust. He's going to give you a fair price. He's not going to give you retail. He's going to give you wholesale, but it's okay. He's going to be fair with you. He's not going to rip you off. And so creating those relationships are very important as you're moving down this, down this road to retirement. But at the end of the day, if a nursing home is on its way or assisted living or people coming into your house to help clean, you need to be aware of the possibility of theft. Once again, not to be paranoid, but just like locking your door, you just want to have a little bit of common sense about this issue around uh, in-home care, out-of-home care, nursing homes, all those things, whether it's for you or it's for a loved one. If you have any other suggestions for the group, leave the comments down in the box below. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.